Okay, so hey guys, it's Winston, and today we're going to look at binary search. And what is binary search? A binary search is a search algorithm which you use to just find a value or the presence of a value or the index of a value in an array or list. So basically, if you have a list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and if you want to find the position of the third element, sorry, position of 3, then you're going to say, okay, 3 is at the third position. That is first, second, third. And that's obviously going to be the answer. So that's what we're going to do. We can even do it like a linear search. You can go to every element and say, okay, the first element, the second element, the third element, you can check. And then if you find that element, then you're, you're going to print it. But the problem with that is you know, it's, a, it's a linear search. I mean, if you have like 10,000 elements, you have to go through the 10,000 elements one by one. But if you have a binary search, you can directly map it without going through every element. But there is one disadvantage with the binary search, and that is your elements have to be sorted. They have to be in sorted order in order to have binary search implemented on them. Or if they are not, they cannot be implemented. So let's do that first. So let's have a no, pause it. G edit binary search dot py Python, if you will. Um Okay, so let's start with the definition of main, and it's going to be pretty simple. We're going to write array is equal to, let's have a sorted, no, an array, that is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. So if you see closely, and if you count yourself, these are basically 10 elements. So I'm going to say 10 elements. So I'm going to make a new function that is find. And the find function, I'm going to pass in a few things. I'm going to pass in a three, sorry, four, and pass in array, and I'm pass in start, which is zero, and I'm going to pass in the end, which is nine. Or ten would be a better choice because if you have nine, then you have to make it equal to equal to. But I want to make it less than, so that ten is a better option. You'll understand that when I get to the point. Um, so to run the main function, need another thing that is uh, the if function for the main. I mean, don't worry about this. This is just a uh, Python syntax. It's pretty simple. The algorithm. I use Python a lot because now nowadays a lot because uh, Python is just simple to understand. The logic just clicks. I mean, you just look at the logic that there's an array and a find function, and that's about it. No stupid stuff. It's pretty, you know, convenient and to the point. So uh, let's get to the find function. So I'm going to say def find, and in here, sorry, not find, find. In here, I'm going to say x, which is the element you need to find. Then you have the array. You just name it array. Don't, uh, not, not, not too flamboyant or anything. Then I'm going to say start and end. This is the find function. And in here, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to say mid. I'm going to find the midpoint of the array. I'm going to go uh, start plus end divided by 2. But uh, I always need to put brackets because uh, well brackets are important you know without if it didn't have brackets the division would be happening first because well hashtag precedence um, I that was totally out of context sorry <laughs> so um, yeah I have the mid thing over here so what I'm gonna do is the algorithm works like this if you have an array okay now I'm, I'm gonna search for four right so I, I don't need to search for the elements which are over here I just need to search for in the elements over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this value compared with the middle of this value. So let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's just say it's like 10, right? So 10 divided by 2, which is 5. So if I have 5 over here right now, it'll basically be this one. This is the midpoint, right? So I'm going to search for values in this value, this half over here. So if I take 0, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, this value. I'm going to search for values in this. So I'm going to take the middle of this, which is basically going to be 2. And then the right, these two values, and it's going to be this. That's, that's how we'll map, you know, one after the other to get to our respective positions. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so that's how the algorithm works. You just um, and you're using log2, sorry, uh, log n um, complexity.
equity because you're doing half in every step. You're losing half of the entire array in every step. So that's pretty awesome, right? In the linear search, you have to go through every element and you still have like 10,000 elements left. But here, you're, you're in, in one step, you're like eliminating 5,000 elements, which is kind of pretty awesome. So uh, in order to move forward, we're going to say if x is equal to equal to the array of x, sorry, or array of mid, which means that we have reached our answer. Now this is a base case. Now we're going to use recursion in this because recursion is always better. So in this we're going to use recursion and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So then we're going to return um, the value. Or we can just print it over here. So print mid and that's the answer. Next if we have elif. Now we have another you know, condition. If x is less than array of mid. Now if that's the case, then what we're going to do is we're going to pass in the first half. So if 4 is less than 10, so we're going to pass in this much value, right? These many values. So in order for that to happen, we're going to say find the value which we want, 4, or we can say x um, array, the start, which is always going to be the same, and the mid. Not the end, the mid, because we're passing only these many values. So let's go ahead and check mid. Else, find x array mid from our start and that's how it is and let's see if this works uh, python run this and yeah two is that the correct answer zero one two that is but there's another there's a problem over here. So what if we put in a value which is not in it? Suppose 3. W what will happen then? Oh, there's a problem. We can't do that, right? So in order to handle these kind of situations, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a base case condition, a, a second base case condition. We're just going to check if start minus end is equal to equal to 0, print false and return. Now if this satisfies, uh, sorry, clear this up, I'll, I'll clear this up, clear, and if this satisfies, false. So it doesn't go forward, because well, it doesn't have anything to go forward with. Am I right or am I right? So yeah, that's how you do this, and uh, yeah, that's the binary research array, log n con complexity, and it's pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.